Um, I'm gonna start out with Maya USD. So my USD uh, is is brand new for Maya 2022. Uh, it's actually a, a an open source plugin that we've been developing for the last few years in partnership with a lot of studios. Uh, so we'll go into the functionality of what you're getting with with that plugin and what's available to you now. Uh, real quick, y'all heard uh, uh, a few people mention my name, my title. Uh, I'm a product owner. Uh, I'm the product owner for both USD and rigging. I, I come from a background of visual effects for the most part. Uh, spent spent a lot of time at Rhythm and Use Studios. I spent a little little time in gaming with Blizzard Entertainment, uh, and so I, that's the production experience I, I bring to this. And and uh, this this tool is the type of tool that uh, definitely could make all those production experiences uh, run, run a lot smoother. So. I'm going to I'm going to give a bit of an overview. The first section that I'm going to talk about is just a single slide. It's just a little background on what USD itself is in case you're not familiar with USD. Uh, if you would like more detailed information on what USD itself is, uh, there are prior presentations we've given where we've gone into a lot of detail about USD itself. Uh, but today we're really going to focus on its integration uh, within Maya. I'll show you one of the most important things is showing this data in the viewport. So what you're seeing here, this is entirely USD data in the viewport. And you'll see that USD data is represent is is uh, is supported through our draw styles uh, in in VP2. So we can draw them as bounding box. We can smooth shade these things. I just walked through a few of these so that you can get an idea of the draw styles that are supported on USD. Um, and keep in mind, this is not my data we're looking at, which is fantastic because it's very efficient, fast data. Here you can see that uh, screen space ambient occlusion is supported. Um, I think I, I'll go here and I turn back on wireframe uh, uh, over shaded so you can see that it's aliased a bit. And if we go turn on the, the hardware anti-aliasing, that cleans it up. Um, so anti-aliasing is supported. All these different draw styles are supported. You'll see that uh, lights are supported. Now this is a Maya light on a USD object and you can see that shadows are cast uh, and you can cast shadows from USD objects to Maya objects from Maya. They can live in the viewport together. Um, here you'll see that we marquee select a Maya light and the mesh, and we decide we don't want the mesh. So we turn off the pick mask, and the turning off the the mesh pick mask is is uh, is respected by the USD selection. Uh, we can select USD data right in the viewport. We can frame it, uh, and we can work with it just like it's it's Maya data. So that's our goal here: is to make sure that your interaction with this data is as seamless as if it were Maya data. And just at the end here, I turn on the Maya representation of this, so you can see what the Maya version, which is on the left, and the USD version on the right look like together in the viewport. So very powerful, very fast. 